Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. As promised, I am doing a deep dive on the new note-taking app called Cortex, which is still in uh, beta. This is a note-taking app that has gained a bit of hype and I've been lucky enough to try it out. So let's just quickly go over the pricing before we start looking at the features. Uh, it has a really good free plan and it also has AI coming quite soon but um the free plan of this allows you unlimited documents unlimited captures unlimited sources and highlights unlimited sharing 20 custom elements uh, storage it gives you five megabytes uh, of upload and five gigabytes storage you have import from readwise uh, and you have members and workspaces which is coming quite soon so this is mainly for personal use if you want to share things or work with a team uh, and have multiple different workspaces then uh, this uh, plan right here might be the right one for you here you also get auto sync uh, and you get 50 custom elements uh, on the premium plan you get unlimited custom elements this actually uh, will set you back 15 dollars per seat per month while this is 10 dollars per seat per month monthly this is 14 dollars per seat per month or 21 dollars per seat per Per month and I think that even though the application is good which we will get into later in the video I still feel like the pricing of this is more on the expensive side compared to a lot of the other applications um, it it markets itself as an alternative for writers and content creators and note takers uh, and uh, it markets itself as an alternative to something like Notion and Obsidian and both of those choices are a little cheaper but we are going to log into the application and see how it works. So when you first open the application this is how it looks. I have made a uh, a couple of documents uh, and deleted some and just playing around with the application but you get this welcome to cortex right here uh, where you get instructions you get the core features of this uh, you get to see a lot of uh, what things this actually has uh, and I really like the idea of an application like this uh, but there are a couple of things I'm not too sure about the first thing is that it comes with a bit of a learning curve it isn't as bad as things like notion and um, notion and uh, obsidian it is actually much better than those but there is still a little bit of a learning curve to it uh, you have basic text formatting uh, here where you can add table table of context co code blocks so everything you would actually expect inside of a note-taking application and it also works with markdown so that is expected so the basic features it has everything you would expect like backlinks as well you can do backlinks uh, and add them into here as well and i do love how the backlinks actually look uh, and the design of the backlinks here i love the color of this and i can open it and uh, you can actually open this in another pane so uh, you will have to here uh, I can go ahead and close this again and you can have as many as you want actually uh, so you could just open more and more things uh, there are a couple of features that makes this application really really good the first is the capture feature uh, which I like this is a way for you to capture uh, within uh, what looks like a chat interface so uh, very similar to what you would see inside of applications like whatsapp or um, other like chat based applications and i can go ahead and i can capture a test idea here i can actually go ahead and i can tag this so let's say this was a resource or uh, 
it could be a to do it's up to uh, me to decide what i want to tag it as but i can also relate this back to a document so let's say i had an idea on the notion video i am going to make i could actually do like this press enter and now it is captured i can click this to open up all of my resources in my uh, search or I could actually jump back to the Notion video idea and I could open up Capture here. Uh, and here I would have um, things I've actually captured in Notion video idea. So not everything I've captured, but things I've captured related to this specific document. I think that's where mainly this application shines is the capturing abilities and how good it actually is at capturing things. So let's say I am writing now and I could come up with an idea. I'm not sure what to do with it. I could just open this uh, capture up like this and i could start writing down my idea this is the best feature of the application this is what makes it special is this chat interface um chat interface capturing on the other hand a lot of applications have gotten really good at capturing but this has its own philosophy to it using this chat base uh capturing method which a lot of other applications do not use i can also go ahead and press backslash and i can actually add um what's called elements and this was a little hard for me to understand this is probably the thing that took took the most time for me to understand but uh elements are custom named collapsible blocks and i think they will make more sense once i show you how to use them so let's press one element and actually go through my default elements here i have a couple of them uh, so basically how this works is how uh, i would like to structure a document so let's say i'm doing a youtube video i want a hook I will go ahead and collapse this and I also want to add a YouTube outro. So that is a YouTube outro. This I've made myself and I can actually go ahead into my settings and I can open up my elements and I can look at my default elements or I could create a new group, a new folder of elements and add them into a uh, that group what i would do for my youtube videos is actually uh, add a folder called youtube videos and add things like intro thumbnail and things like that and just have it um uh, inside of a youtube folder then i would go ahead and i would actually add all of those uh, elements into my youtube document that is basically what it is and uh, the point of this is actually to help you um help you with writer's block so as long as you know what should be inside of your uh inside of your uh blog idea or youtube video idea or whatever it is you're writing it should be easier to actually do the right thing this application is also block based so you can drag things uh back and forward but Let's say this was how I would set up my YouTube video. I would do a hook, I would do my key points, then I would do my YouTube outro, and I can go ahead and I can just start writing inside of here, inside of these uh, elements right here. And I like the idea of this. I haven't been creative enough on the use cases. My guess is that there are a lot of use cases for this, uh, but um, I haven't actually found really good ones yet apart from what i am showing you now but that might just be me not being creative enough i think this application is really good at capturing and i'm excited to see what they do with ai i think the application is designed well but um like my final thoughts are that even though the application looks good it feels like it is designed quite well uh, and it is tailored towards um i think it's tailored mainly towards writers and maybe content creators as well i still think that 
it lags a little until it is at the level of some of the other applications on the market. And I completely understand that it is still in beta and it needs a while to develop. But um, I'm just struggling to see, like, compared to applications like Lazy, uh, for example, which also does capture quite well and it even does capture with AI, uh, what this offers. But on the other hand, it is a little hard because on the other hand, I really like this chat interface uh, and I might have just not spent uh, enough uh, time on the application, but my thought is actually this. Uh, it looks promising, but I want to see it do more before I can recommend people to commit to it. But I still think that it is worth a shot and you should try out the application because it looks really good and it might be the thing you are looking for. Uh, but again, uh, I personally will have to wait until I can uh, commit to an application like this. And also I want to see which uh, way they are headed and what their like unique value proposition will be in the future. Um, I have tested a lot of applications like this in early stages and it is really important to see where they are headed before uh, you totally commit. But I like the idea, that's the point. I like the capture. I, uh, I'm i not sure about the elements, but I do like how the application is designed. And I also like this uh, Readwise sync and the ability to add your own sources as well. So there are a lot of things to be liked uh, about this application, especially because it is in a really, really early stage. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.